this video is going to talk about scenario analysis in Excel. The, the use of scenarios as a tool for problem solving can prove essential since it is not always feasible to wait until sufficient data is available to perform the analysis. Hence, the sensitivity analysis is brought about using Scenario Manager in Excel. Scenarios can be defined as descriptions of fundamentally different future states of an organization's environment considering possible developments of relevant interdependent factors. We'll learn to take full advantage of the spreadsheet to create and analyze scenarios addressing various what-if questions about the results from a model. Since these skills are applicable to any worksheet with formulas constructed for a particular set of calculations, we can carry their ability to perform sensitivity analysis into the workplace environment. There are times when we want to change more than one or two variables and quickly want a nicely formatted report with all the possibilities and the result. And this is where scenario analysis can benefit us immensely. Now let's look at an example to better understand Scenario Manager. Let's say this is a summarized short version of an income statement of a company. This particular column contains the base case scenario and this column contains the formula for the expected scenario. And we are going to do a sensitivity analysis on an income statement here. There are three kinds of scenarios here. One is the average scenario, best scenario and worst scenario. And these are the variables which are going to change based on what kind of scenario it is. I have linked this particular column with these cells based on the variable that is there. So for example, in average case, sales is expected to increase by 15%, so I've linked it to that and other income is expected to increase by 18% and so on and so forth. So now I'm going to click on the data tab and under what if analysis under data tools I'm going to click on scenario manager. Once I do that a window will pop up and I'm going to click on add. Under scenario name I'm going to type in best scenario or BS and for changing cell I'm going to select these cells and then I'm going to click OK. So my best case scenario is that the sales would increase by 20% so I'm going to change the numbers here because those are not the correct numbers those are the numbers for average scenario. So I'm going to type in 0.20 this is 12, then this is 0 0.03, 0 0.04, and this is 0 0.015, which is fine. And then I'm going to click on Add. Once I do that, my next would be the worst case scenario. Again, the changing cell would remain the same because these cells are linked to this particular column. So it's going to remain constant across. The reason why I have these two columns is to just to show you that this is what the scenario will look like for best case and worst case, just for our knowledge. And now I'm going to click OK. Again, for worst case, it's going to be 0 0.10, 0 0.08, 0 0.09, again 0.5 and this is the same and I'm going to click on add again for the last time and this is my average scenario and I'm going to click OK so in this case this is just fine and I'm going to click OK notice when I click on worst case and I click show this column automatically changes when I click on best case and I click show, it automatically changes. When I click on average case and I click show, it goes back to the original. So let's say we want to be able to view this in another sheet. So I'm going to click on summary 
and it has automatically identified the result cell, which in this case is the net income. And I'm going to click OK. Once I do that, it takes me to another worksheet and it has calculated the best case, worst case, and the average case scenarios for me. So this was just this quick and if you would like to check you can go back to the scenario sheet and you can just go ahead and link these cells to one of the other cases just to see if it's the right answer. I have linked this particular column with the best case scenario and my total net income is 78,526.5 and if I go back here, it's the same. This is my best case scenario, and this is the net income. Hope this was useful. This video was brought to you by CXO Learning Academy, a premier learning initiative by CXO Math. For any queries, you can email us at learning at cxomath.com. Thank you.